Hello everyone, I have made another version of the filament spool holder. This is based on expanding mechanism. For this new model, the following items are required. Countersunk bolts, M6, 100 mm long, 3 pieces, 8 mm by 22 mm by 7 mm bearings, 2 pieces. Countersunk bolt, M8, 150 mm long, 1 piece. 8 mm OD 50 mm long springs, 3 pieces. M8 nuts, 5 pieces. An M8 spanner, or you can print the tool that comes with the STL files. 1 Allen key. Optional, 1 plier. Some 3D prints. And more 3D prints. Assembly Step 1. Insert the M8 bolt into this attachment part, fit the nut, and then, screw it down using the Allen key. Step 2. Press the bearing into the slotted expander part. Step 3. Insert the bolt into the slotted expander. This is not a tight fit, but should be fine. Step 4. Insert the bolt into the expander and lock it down with two nuts. Please note that the second nut is there to lock the first one in place and be sure to test that the assembly moves freely, before locking it down. This is really, a job for a spanner, but I will just use my plier. Step 5 Screw these spring guides in place. Step 6. Insert the springs into the spring guides. Step 7. Insert the expanding insert. Step 8. Attach the spool holders to the expanding inserts. First, Insert these M6 bolts into the holders, then try to align the holders with the expanding insert and screw it down. You can also insert the bolts into the expanding inserts, and then, insert the holder and screw it down. 
Step 9. Screw the spring retaining nuts in place. There is an alternate way to do this. First screw the spring retaining nuts into the expanding insert, before screwing the holders in place. This completes the main part of the assembly. The second expander is required to lock down the filament reel. I have designed this for use with different reels, from about 52 mm to about well, 80 to 85 mm. This spacer helps to align the two expanders. If the filament reel has an inner diameter that is very small, you may have to wiggle this into place, or perhaps omit it altogether. Let's try a second reel. The first nut. Avoid screwing this in too far. as it will lock the whole assembly down, as shown here. The second nut should be just finger tight. Ideally, I should use a butterfly nut here. I have made an attachment for use with Anchor Make M5 but I had a few issues using the actual spool holder with the Anchor Make M5, so this spool holder currently works well with the Creality 3D printer. While working on this video, Maker's Muse video on the expanding mechanism was very helpful. I also found an existing spool holder, which was based on the expanding mechanism. This is on Thingiverse. I have linked these down below. One thing though, I am not fully satisfied with what I have here, because, this very iteration was inspired by the enclosure, which I made for the Anchor Make M5, and as it turns out, it does not really work well with it. It seems this extra space misaligns the spool so much, that as it prints, the filament is pulled in this direction, and that causes it to tangle. It could also be that it is just too free, hence requiring a rewind mechanism to work well, but I experienced this just once on the M5. Perhaps I should consider both factors if I want to use this with the M5. Thank you for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe to help build my channel. My viewers and subscribers are the source of my motivation to continue. 
I am learning 3D modeling as fast as I can and I am working on a few designs that will be released soon.